Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to modify diagrams. Let's get started. So for our diagram here, we're looking at this one. This is a SmartArt graphic. And in this SmartArt graphic, if I click in it, you'll notice that the border has sizing handles on each corner and side. It's important when you select a uh, SmartArt graphic that you don't accidentally click on one of the shapes or in any of the text because it'll assume that you want to only modify that. If I'm making broad changes to my SmartArt, it's important that I just click within a blank space inside of the uh, SmartArt graphic border. All right, now what we could do is uh, I want to show you how to modify the SmartArt graphic. And so all modification has to do with this tab up here at the top, which is the SmartArt Tools Design and Format tab. I'm going to go to the Design tab first, and I want you to look at the Layouts group. In the Layouts group, you're going to see a gallery of about four to five uh, shapes, depending on your computer. And if you click this bottom right button, which is more, it's actually going to show you a lot of suggested um, SmartArt graphics. And so this is a process um, type graphic. You could tell because of the arrows. That's typically a, a giveaway. It's basically saying the first step is to gather information, the second step is to set up team, so on and so forth, all the way to celebrate. So you could look through all of these uh, different process ones and eventually choose one that works well for you. I'm going to choose this one here, segmented process, and I click that. Now notice that when I click it, it changes on the page and this has uh, uh, now been changed. And so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to view all SmartArt graphics. And if I go to the SmartArt Tools Design tab, the Layouts group, and click the More button, you'll see that all of the process types are here. But if I go down here to More Layouts, it'll actually show me all of the SmartArt graphics available. I'm going to choose List on this one, and I'll just choose, say, this second one right here, which is Vertical Bullet List. And I'll click it, and I'll click OK. You'll see that this looks good, the information is correct, but one problem that we're going to see here is that it doesn't show that this is actually a process anymore. So you really do want to make sure that when you go to your more layouts that you choose the correct category along this left side here. That way it uh, conveys the information to your um, viewer as accurately as possible. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this uh, SmartArt graphic here. Uh, this SmartArt graphic deals with work-life balance, and so I want to show you how to edit a graphic and kind of uh, some of the features that these graphics have when you decide to edit them. So if you click in the middle here, you're going to see that um, it selects the entire SmartArt graphic, and it also opens this pane over here on the left. This is your text pane. I do recommend as long as you're editing your SmartArt graphics that you do leave this turned on. Just in case yours is not turned on, all you have to do is go to the SmartArt Tools Design tab, Create Graphic Group, and you're going to see right over here there's a button for the text pane. Okay, so we make sure that the test text pane is on while we do this. Now the cool thing about the text pane is it shows your first and second list level items. We see life and work along the left side. Those are our two main categories. And then the uh, different uh, things that are associated with those two categories. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to enter in a new shape. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the life category, which is right here. And if I click in Family, I have a few options for entering a new shape. I could actually go right up here and click Add Shape in the Create Graphic area. And if you see it, when I do that, it's going to add a new shape. Now I'm going to undo that so that you can look at what happened when we type or when we added a shape. This is before, this is after. And notice that the um, scale has now tipped. Okay, and so now the scale is tipped to be equal between. Uh, work and life. And so now if I type in sports right here, there we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to job. Okay. And after we're, the word job, I'm going to press enter. That will also add in a new shape. Now I'm going to type in household management. And I want you to notice that household management is going to be longer than the rest of the words. And so the text that is within it is actually going to shrink. But for the sake of um, consistency, as I type this in, you'll also notice that the um, text size from the other shapes also starts to shrink as I type in more on this one. Okay, And so there we go. We see that the scale is now tipped back to the work side. Okay, And so there we go. Uh, it looks good. However, one thing that I do want you to notice is that if I take 
coach and tr uh, troop leader from this work side and I delete it and then I go up here and let's say I add it to the life side okay coach I type that in and then I go to type in troop leader notice that over here along the left side now uh, I do not actually see troop leader although it's typed in. That's because it has this little red X here. Basically there's more categories than this smart art shape can provide. And so I would want to make sure that if I am going to use this smart art graphic that I only have four categories on uh, either side. Okay, so a maximum of four. If I have five then you see what happens right there. So uh, I may want to find a way to reduce that to four. Okay, and so uh, there we go. That is how you modify diagrams within PowerPoint 2016. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.